Hi guys, so what we're going to be doing today is spider web art. Super simple and easy. You could, you're going to use a marker to outline your spider web, paper, and crayons. There are different choices that you can do. Um, so I will show you that after. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's go ahead and make a vertical line. Then a horizontal line. And then we're going to make two diagonals. One coming this way. And the other going the other way. Just like that. And like I always say, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to match mine. So then the next step is we're going to be making curves along each section. So let me go ahead and show you. So that's our first curve and we just keep going. like that. Then we go on to the next section. So this is how farm rate paper can go, and it can be a bigger paper. Um, so the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to color my background. That way the colors that I use can make it look more abstract. See, that's my background and our next step. So for each loop that there is, we're going to skip a color. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Say I colored this one with my dark one. We're going to skip the next one and do the other one. Get the next one, do the other one. And 
And then we have one more to color in. Okay, so we're going to do that for each one. So for, say for example, I start here. Now I'm going to skip this one and move on to the next one. And for this one, I'll do the same. We just keep going with the pattern. So far we're doing good. So then the lines that we have here are going to be the opposite on the blank ones. So we know that this one can't be the same color as this one. So we have to go to the next one. And then we skip this one and we go on to this one. And so we continue that same pattern, skip, color. One more time, skip color. It's so over here. Now we go down, skip color. And I'm done with my dark color. You can also leave it like this because you can tell the art behind it. But I am going to color the blank spots a lighter color. And then just from there, we just color the blank spots, the white.
And so I'm done. See? Super easy, super simple, and it's fun. So you can also use watercolor. Watercolor can be a bit messier since the lines are pretty small. Um, and another way I did this with the colors, with the crayons, is this one. I use different kind of colors. So here's both of them differently. Okay, so I hope you guys have fun and I'll see you guys later. Bye.